we go! You don't shoot, I won't shoot. Deal? Keep them hands where I can see them. What are you doing out here? <sighs> you and me both. Name's Lillian. Lady named McCass hired my crew as gun hands. I got left here to watch for Cleo reinforcements. They all got pinned inside, so I can't say as I mind. Don't mind the asking, but I ain't telling. You want details? Go talk at Miss High and Mighty What's-Her-Name. She's in the labs, pinned down. Yeah, Cassandra O'Malley. We mostly call her Cass, because Cassandra just sounds fancy. Definitely got something large and uncomfortably shaped up her nethers. Yammering on about rights and privileges and what all, I'm like, lady, just sing out when you want something shot. Leastways, her pamphlets make good kindling. I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day, and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. Got a smoke? Oh, well. Figured it couldn't hurt to ask. I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew got that going for me. Some of them were okay. You don't get too close in this work. And Dylan, well, ain't no one gonna regret his passing. Least of all his mama. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. When I turned about, I seen two fine gun hands being snacked on by lizards. No cigarette case is worth my life, no matter how badly I need a smoke. 
This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case. Some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. If she can't hang on to it, maybe it'd be better off in someone else's hands. An outdoor raptodon pen yonder, past the main entrance. Well, only knows why they're breeding the damn things. Well, you'd sure as hell have earned it, wouldn't you? I'd be obliged. Just don't lose any parts trying. Who the... you. Yeah, you. Get over here. You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is, we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is, they haven't been able to escape, neither. For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. The garage and the front door are it. These bastards got in through the vent system, but we locked that down. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Why you want to know that? What for? <laughs> I'll give you points for brass. Can't risk it, though. If you die, they'll take your pass and escape. Who, me? Or you mean the lab in general? I'm in charge of site safety engineering. Most days that means making sure folks don't run in the halls. Most days there ain't nothing to hear but wind, bugs, and the buildings falling slowly to pieces. Hey. Hey. I don't have time for this.
process. Thanks. I think you could jimmy that one proper, Captain. Doesn't look too...
mind if I grab a few souvenirs? I'm gonna guess that all the nothing in that safe isn't what we were expected to find. You! Over here! Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take your pick. The research I carry is valuable. I am willing to go halves with you. And I will gladly negotiate with you. 
but only after you free me. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere.
It ain't stealing if no one sees. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented free... Take your time. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here.
I would ask what was on. Ask away. Sell it, of course. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic scientists. But whoever gave me this tip obviously does. Assuming I make it out of this place alive. And with my ship out of commission, I'll have to leave on foot and hope my luck changes. One problem at a time, I suppose. No one asks why anymore. The establishment tells us to live here, work there, eat that, drink this. All our choices are made for us, so we forget we ever had a choice. I am doing this because I can. Because it thrills me. Because I take a deep and profound pleasure from stabbing at the heart of corporate power, no matter how shallow the wound. I have been asking myself the same question. We were acting on a good tip. But... From the day we are born, we are made... Corporation... 